Hey everybody, Josh from Steering South, and today we're gonna go over replacing our old dinette. So first thing I'd like to say is this video is not sponsored. Um, the dinette we did pick up was supplied by Rec Pro, um, and they've been really great to deal with on this, but this is not a paid for advertisement by any means. And second, I'd like to apologize for the way the video is structured. I did shoot most of the footage while I was still up in Wisconsin. I am now down in Arizona and wrapping up the video here. One of the things I wanna talk about is why we felt we needed to replace our dinette. Um, so we had the classic U-shaped dinette. Uh, it's been fairly common in uh, travel trailers and other RVs for quite a few years now. Um, and it's great for having additional seating, especially if you have kids. Um, you know, we have three kids, so it was great for that. But what you gain in seating, you lose in table space and um, leg room. So I'm a big guy. I'm 6'3", and the way the legs were positioned under the table, it was a little more difficult for me to enter and exit the dinette without my knees hitting the posts. And also, the table was, was quite small. Um, so it was great. You could have more people sit there, but like playing a board game or something like that, it really filled up the table. So I wanted to get a classic um, two-bench uh, type dinette with the table spanning all the way to the wall. Um, so that's what we did. And here is the model we picked out from Rec Pro. It's the 44-inch model in chestnut. Something else I wasn't a really big fan of with our dinette also was how you access the storage under it. On one side it came with a drawer. Um, the drawer was huge and it didn't have slides so it was kind of just wood on wood. It was always a fight to pull it out and actually get into it. So I removed the in interior drawer parts of it and just uh, kind of sealed off the drawer part so it didn't pull out anymore. Um, but if you wanted to get into there, you had to pull all the cushions off and then you lifted up a piece of plywood that you had to move and store somewhere else. Um, and that was for both the, the large storage areas, but the storage area that was up against the wall on the small bench, that one, you basically had to take the table and everything out of the way to get down in there. And it just didn't end up being very useful storage space for us because of how difficult it was to access. So you stuffed things in there that you didn't really need to get to very often but what ended up happening is it just sat in there forever and was just extra weight on the camper on the slide and it wasn't very useful storage another reason we felt the need to replace our dinette is it was really starting to show its age um you know our camper is just over five years old now heavy use we've been full-time living in it for almost five years and it's been it's been ridden hard um, plus a cat and two dogs, uh, there's, there were scratches, tears, the fabric was wearing, um, and it really wasn't comfortable anymore either. I think the cushions had fatigued enough where we had lost some of the original, uh, support and cushion when you sat on it. Um, uh, here towards the end, I disliked the dinette so much, I just, I never sat there. Um, I, I tried my best to avoid it at all costs. So now I want to talk a little bit about the uh, the new dinette we received from Rec Pro. Um, it arrived in three separate boxes on the same day. And what's nice about it is you think, oh, this big dinette and these ends are already assembled in the box. How on earth am I going to fit it through the door of my camper? Not to worry. It fit through it perfectly with room to spare. Um, that wasn't an issue at all. It was actually quite easy. To bring it in. Now here's the footage of actually installing the new dinette and you'll have to forgive some of the camera work. It was my adorable four-year-old daughter who did most of the camera work so thank you Aaliyah for your hard work on this video. Here is where the new dinette is going and we took out the old dinette right here next to our couch. You can actually see where the old dinette legs mounted here. 
The box for the 44 inch dinette is quite large, but it comes through the door nice and easily. And I'm just gonna get this first one brought over here and opened up. The box for the table is also quite large, but it's narrow enough to easily bring in the doorway. No problems. All right, so this is one of the three packages you get. This is one side of the 44 inch dinette. And I'm gonna cut it open and take a look at what's inside. It says not to use any sharp objects. I am gonna be very careful while I cut this open, not to cut into anything inside. the chestnut color. Well, let's see what this looks like. Okay. Oh, it's got a nice cover that comes to protect the material. And there is that nice chestnut color. <laughs> And here is the first half of the dinette set in there. We still have to assemble the back piece that goes across here and supports the back cushion. Um, but as you can see, it's tucked in all the way to the corner and it does pass the edge of our slide a little bit. Um, this is the 44 inch model and it actually sticks out not in as far as our uh, previous dinette did. So this will actually give us more room when the slide's in to get by. All right, well, they give you a little pack of hardware here. This has the bolts and also a little Allen wrench inside to attach the back piece. So I'm going to do that right now. So we have these three tabs that come up from the bottom section and they line up with holes in the uh, back piece. And we will just thread these into them. Okay. Okay, a little bit of a fight to get that one aligned, but then it started. And we'll get this one started. Um, my advice with this, just with anything like this, is to hand start all of them before you tighten any of the bolts. That way you don't have to fight the other bolts to align the remaining bolts you have left. Okay. Cinch those down. So these three are cinched down, and now that one is finished. There's also this nice uh, protective piece over the top of the Velcro to keep it nice and clean in transit. And now the cushion obviously has the other piece of Velcro on the back, and that just sticks right in there like that. And poof, the second dinette booth is installed. So they are both in here, my lovely daughters, say hello. Hi. <laughs> and now we're gonna take out the table. So these are still just set there loose. Nothing's bolted down into the slide. We're gonna take out the table and kind of get the distance between them uh, set correctly. All right, and here it is installed. Uh, these are still not mounted to the floor yet. I just got them spaced correctly using the table and set it up as a bed just to see how it looks. And of course, I let the girls lay on it and they love it. And you can see we actually ended up with a small gap between our couch and the dinette, which is great because actually on the side here is where the controls are for the power recline on the sofa. So we'll be able to reach our hand in there. Um, so now I'll take this apart and we'll start getting the legs figured out and where they need to be positioned on the table and where they need to be positioned on the floor. Okay, so... The uh, table comes with uh, new brackets for the table side and also for the floor side, but it only comes with enough screws to do um, the table side. And my guess is that they don't want to supply screws that'll go into the floor of the camper. So I have our old brackets that I took off and the... Uh, 
screws here, I saved those that were used to hold them to the floor. So I will just reuse the same screws. That way I shouldn't be in any risk of going through the floor. Um, they were safe enough for the previous dinette. It should be fine for this one. Okay, so I've laid out some lines here uh, to position the um, I don't know, mount bracket for the poles. Um, we've got a line at center here. And then I found center um, going this direction. And then I marked halfway from the center to the edges on both sides. And so now what I can do is use, uh, looking through the center of this, I can position this bracket and using the side holes to make sure everything's centered right about where it needs to be. So I'm going to do that with both. I'll attach those and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I now have the two brackets attached to the table. I'm going to put the posts on them and then the feet on the top of the posts. And then I'll flip it over and get it into position here. And then I'll measure, make sure everything's right where it should be. And then I'll screw down the, the base. Okay, so I've placed the table in now. It's just setting there. I've measured to make sure the leg posts are centered between the two by, uh, booth dinette sections. And then we're also flush up against the wall. So now I'm going to go ahead and screw down the bases of the post supports here. We've got the brackets now are screwed down to the floor. So the table's nice and stable. There's Aaliyah checking out the new table. It's very nice. I still have to mount uh, the booth ends to the floor. Um, but I will have to wait till tomorrow when I can get the brackets from the hardware store I want to use to attach them. But for now, there it is. It's looking good. Um, we also, also, my light's not working in the slide, so it's really dark here. So in the morning when the sun's out, I'll be able to show you this uh, a lot better and how it looks, uh, the finished product. Okay, so I'm getting ready to bolt down both of the end dinette booth sections. Um... What I've done is I've tucked this one into the corner how we want it to be and then using the table I've positioned the other side so that it all fits nicely when it's converted to a bed. So I picked up at the hardware store today a couple of these simple L brackets and I'm going to install these down here between the inside of this and the floor. Sorry, it's so dark. Here, I'll get a light. Okay, now we got some light in here. So, between here and the floor, um, as you run your hand across this, you can feel where there's actually wood supports uh, every so often throughout here. There's one here, there's one around center, and then there's another one. Uh, symmetric to where this one is on the other side. So I'm going to open these things up and I'm going to attach these to that upright support and the floor. Okay, so I just finished uh, screwing these in. One there and one down there. And now the whole thing is super stable. Won't go anywhere. will stay in place and it'll maintain the correct distance between the other ones so the table in bed mode works just fine and here is the finished product one thing I do appreciate about the rec pros dinette is you can lift up and get into the storage underneath it without removing the back cushion um, if you want to lift this all the way up and really get in there, I would recommend removing it, but that's just as simple as popping it off the Velcro. Um, the seats are very comfortable, um, and you can tell from the underside with the support they've added that this cushion is going to last a long time, and it's going to have a lot of support. And I think that we're going to be really happy with this for a long time to come. The, uh, the table is actually more stable than our old table as well. Um, part of that could be based on how far apart the feet are spaced, um, which I did that spacing, of course. But I also made sure that the 
edge of the table in the back is butting up against the wall so it has a little extra support from just the contact with the wall now if this does start to loosen up like some of these you know tables seem to do i'll add a support underneath the table against the wall to keep it from rocking but right now it's it's doing really well and it survived the drive from wisconsin to arizona um, just like this, it was set up just like this. Um, the booths didn't move, the table didn't move, it was all just how I had left it. Um, one thing I will note, my brackets I installed in there, I installed them on just the front edge. I would recommend installing them also on the back inside edge. Because right now, if you push on here, you can actually get it to tilt up a little bit off the floor. So. I will go in and add those two brackets on both dinettes. Um, I haven't yet because I have a big project coming up that's going to require tearing all of this out of the slide. The carpet's coming up and I'm actually going to replace the entire floor in the camper. So I'm going to hold off on adding those brackets until then. Um, but yeah, that's the finished product. Um, uh, Nicole and I are very happy with it. It's, it's comfortable. It's simple. It's convenient. Um, the girls, the first night I installed it up in Wisconsin, of course, the girls wanted to sleep on it as a bed. So I set it up as a bed and they got to sleep on it and they said it was very comfortable. Um, it's actually really great. And I would recommend anyone who is looking to replace the dinette in their camper, definitely check out Rec Pro. I've added a link in the description of this video for it. This model is great, but they have them in different lengths. Um, if you don't need a 44 inch long one, they have shorter options as well. A couple different color options. It's actually a really great product. Mm -hmm.